Hey folks, Dr. Hagmar here, and I want to welcome you back to this final uh, video on the MTHFR series that we're doing. This is actually part three. Um, today we're going to be going over a lot of great information, some of the supplements that can be extremely helpful to, to you if you uh, do have one of these mutations. Uh, we'll talk about some of the different side effects if you're taking the wrong kinds of supplements, the different wrong kinds of vitamins. And we'll also be talking about what uh, some of the side effects might be if you're taking too much of a particular supplement. Uh, one of the questions that keeps coming up and popping up is, is can you cure this mutation? And the short answer to that is no, you, you can't change the defective gene, okay? But what you can do and, and what you really need to focus in on is what you can do to mitigate the damage because of that dysfunctional gene. Um, what the things that you can do to actually support your body so that it can actually do its job better, okay? Now to do this, it's very important that you, you understand that there are supplements that you're gonna need to take. I'll, I will discuss those supplements. Uh, but what's very important is that you're taking these at the therapeutic dosage, meaning that you're taking them at the right time, um, whether you're taking them with food or without food, those all become uh, very critical questions that, that really need to, to be worked through. Now, there are several supplements that I feel are just extremely important for people who do have this mutation uh, of the MTHFR gene. Uh, and if you work with a doctor who specializes in either functional medicine or integrative medicine, which is really interchangeable, then he or she is going to be able to help determine what that right dosage is, the time of the day, how it synergizes with, with other supplements. And so I won't be telling you what dosages you should be taking, because that obviously varies from person to person. What I, do, what I will be doing is, is going over some of the, the supplements that I feel are just absolutely important. So let's just jump right into that. The first one is obviously methylated B12, okay? This is also known as uh, methylcobalamin. Very, very important. The next uh, supplement that I think is very important is activated B6 or, or P5P. The next one is 5-MTHF, which is activated folic acid. Then I also believe it's very important that you start taking methyl donors, okay? So this is actually gonna be like that SAMe that we talked about in video two. Um, it's gonna be MSM, okay, methyl sulfonyl methane. It'll be uh, something called TMG, trimethylglycine. These actually are gonna be the, the sulfur-containing methyl donors that your body really needs um, to obviously help that methylation process you know, along. Uh, another supplement that I feel is very important is N-acetylcysteine. And N-acetylcysteine is so important because it's actually a precursor to glutathione. It'd be nice if we could just take glutathione, but the reality of it is, is just taking glutathione pills, uh, studies show that we don't absorb glutathione very well when it's administered orally. So one reason that MTHFR variants are, are linked to a variety of illnesses is the common pathway of how homocysteine gets broken down. Homocysteine actually should get broken down into glutathione. But the problem is, is that often elevated levels of homocysteine, because we're not methylating, uh, impairs the way that homocysteine is converted to glutathione production. So it's very important that we assist the body uh, in methylation by also supporting those glutathione pathways, okay? So glutathione is the body's main antioxidant. It's also known as the mother of all antioxidants. And because of this, it searches or patrols your body for the damaging effects that are caused by free radicals, okay? So glutathione impacts the immune system. It impacts the body's ability to detoxify. It's also a major recycler of different antioxidants, things like vitamin C and vitamin E. Um, people with MTHFR mutations often have low levels of glutathione, and that obviously makes sense because we do see those homocysteine levels that are elevated. And obviously we see low glutathione levels. So this obviously is going to make them more susceptible to toxins, which then can lead to liver congestion and just a whole slew of other problems. So again, like I said earlier, supplementation of glutathione uh, precursors are very, very important if you suspect or you've been confirmed that you have an MTHFR mutation. But again, I wanna to talk to you about the delivery of that glutathione because that is something that's very important and Quite honestly, you know, that'll be something that uh, whoever you work with, whatever holistic practitioner you work with, they'll be able to help you kind of go in that direction. Um, like I said earlier, glutathione is not absorbed very well. It's, it's poorly absorbed when you take it in an oral form. And so there are a couple of other different delivery options that are, that are worth considering, okay? The first one is found in a liposomal cream. Um, this is simply a cream that, um, that contains glutathione and, and superoxide dismutase and a, and a lot of other different um, you know, antioxidants that you can apply to your body just as a, as, a, as a regular cream. The second one is nebulization. Okay, This is where you actually uh, uh, use a nebulizer. So a nebulizer, you're going to be actually uh, breathing in glutathione. 
Uh, another option is a rectal suppository. Okay, I found that rectal suppositories are very, very effective for people that have low glutathione levels or people that have MTHFR problems. Um, another uh, common uh, way to improve and boost your glutathione levels is something known as a coffee enema. And so I won't be talking about a coffee enema in this video. You can easily search that and Google that on our website. But a coffee enema has actually been shown to drastically increase glutathione levels, and it's been shown to do that. It's, it's very, very safe. People have been doing it for uh, 50 or 60 years and probably even longer. So again, it's something that's worth investigating uh, or something worth bringing up to your holistic practitioner if um, you want to get those glutathione levels up and you've been unsuccessful in other ways. So the last supplement I believe uh, that someone should really consider to, to be very helpful to, to help with the methylation process is ultimately a good multi-mineral that of course is going to have zinc or it has copper or, or many of the other different trace minerals that are just crucial uh, because they act as enzyme catalysts. And what that means is that you know without, uh, without these minerals and without these enzymes, we can't make all the different processes happen in our body. So for safe measures, I always recommend that people take a, a trace mineral as well. Uh, the last thing I want to cover in this video is some of the adverse side effects that someone might experience if they're taking too much of a particular B vitamin or the wrong kind, okay? Now, I wanted to talk about this because this happened just last week and a patient that I had been working with decided that she was going to go out and she was going to buy some B12 because she had ran out of it. Uh, she didn't refill a prescription here in our office and she decided that she would just pick some up at the local health food store. So, as you can imagine, she began taking the B12 and in a matter of about three days, she began to experience a slew of symptoms. We later found out that of course she was taking too much of these and she was actually taking the wrong kind of, of B vitamins. So here are some of the symptoms <clears throat> that you should be aware of. And here again, this is why you really wanna work with a holistic doctor who understands that, okay? So too much B12 and you might experience <clears throat> things like anxiety, you might experience things like jittery, you might be uh, experiencing difficulty sleeping, uh, waking up in the middle of the night, uh, have a difficulty falling asleep, insomnia. You might have a rapid heart rate, okay? So you might feel like your heart's palp uh, palpating, uh, pal heart palpitations rather. Um, you might also experience fatigue, and that can happen sometimes in three days, sometimes it can happen even sooner. Now, in certain cases, these symptoms can obviously be very frightening. And so again, uh, you know, I wouldn't want you to go out and start taking these supplements and, and all of a sudden, you know, you try to call our office and, and tell me that you're experiencing all these symptoms. So again, I do recommend that you do this under the supervision of, of, a, of a holistic practitioner. Now, each person obviously requires specific nutrients to be tailored to either his or her unique body chemistry, okay? So these vitamins need to be either titrated up or titrated down to whatever therapeutic dosage is for you. And that's very, very important. And that'll help obviously minim minimize any uh, potential or adverse side effects, okay? So we just talked about B12 side effects. Let's touch upon some of the side effects of B9, okay? Um, because that's very important too, okay? Many of these uh, side effects are, are very similar, but again, they're worth mentioning. So again, the first one would be, again, severe anxiety, irritability, heart palpitations. Um, with B9, you might actually start experiencing like either uh, a breakout, acne, or rash um, along your, your skin, your chest, your face, hives, for example. Um, you might experience sore muscles or achy joints. You might experience, again, the insomnia. Uh, you might experience some nausea. You might experience some headaches and even some migraines. Okay, so those are some of the things I, I want you to keep an eye on um, if you are taking you know, B6 or B12 or B9 and just some things to be aware of, okay? Well, this concludes our, our video series. I hope you enjoyed this video series. Um, if you have questions or you wanna become a patient, I encourage you to visit my website, uh, drhagmeyer.com. You're gonna find about 900 pages of health information on my website. There's a ton of other videos that I've done, uh, how I work with patients who are here locally and, and obviously people that are out of state and out of the country. But ultimately, I hope you found this series helpful. Please share it with others, and I hope this helps you reclaim your health. Take care.